Hi guys, hi, how are you? We uh interesting. Good morning, good morning. Where are you are? Uh good morning, good morning, good morning, uh from whatever you are. Today we want to talk about something. Uh, something that's very interesting that I've uh, been thinking about for quite some time. Uh especially when uh we have been planting and growing seeds for for a while now, uh, one of the challenges that people have been facing, especially farmers, is uh, uh, getting the right seed. But not only the right seed, but uh, one thing that has, 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 has come out very strongly from talking to farmers is, what is this potential, what, what is this real potential yield that uh, we are always talking about? You know, most of the time we are told, uh, <laughs> Very interesting that uh, it depends on your good agricultural practices. But again, uh, good morning again, uh, all the way from County 034. This is Noah Nasiali, uh, and, and, and we want to talk about some things, but we'll see how many are coming in. When we reach around uh, even 20 of us, we'll be able to, to start this discussion. And I have some goodies, uh, some goodies with me here. We have some seeds from different companies that have come up and said, we'd like to really participate in this challenge. And uh, I'll be sharing more uh, information about this. Uh, leave uh, your comments in the comment section there. Tell us where you're watching from. Uh, tell us what you are doing. And uh, have you planted watermelons before? I think there's a poll that we've created and we will send it out in a few once we get to uh, 10 members, you know. Uh, so in the meantime, tell us where you're watching us from and uh, uh, let us know, is it possible uh, whatever you've been doing in terms of farming have you done watermelon before tell us your experience what has it been like to to plant watermelons uh there we are we are 10 so let's let's wait for uh five more and if you have planted watermelons before let us know what has been your experience like in the comment section there we'll be sharing some things i can see suna east farm all the way from la hi how are you thank you for joining i can see kola Kabam kabambe uh good morning good morning good morning uh congratulations for your harvest last week uh that was brilliant suna east farm i love the kitchen garden i love the kitchen garden. next time i'm in uh, sfo I'll, I'll make a point uh of coming over next time i'm in california i'll be able to come over and see and uh, enjoying uh the harvest as well <laughs> call Bambi all the way from zambia thank you thank you for watching thank you for being an ardent supporter thank you for giving us the psych thank you for continuing with your efforts to farm and now i'm seeing you're harvesting brilliant 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 caller uh my friend all the way from south africa tefo mwaiti hi how are you uh, tell us tell us thank you that's that's great you've planted watermelon let us know uh, let us know what was your experience, what was the variety that you grew, and 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 why. What what do you think is uh, what do you think about the this challenge? Do you think it's uh, it's worth it? Do you think we can be able to get it done right? Do you think we can be able to <clears throat> to see how best we can get the best out of this? You know, uh, let us know. Let tell tell us tell us where you're watching us from. I can see Joan Kemboy has joined in. Joan Kemboy, thank you for joining. And uh, an agronomist, those who are um, um, there, let us know. Uh, again, as you join, let us know where you're watching us from. We have some goodies, as I've mentioned at the beginning. We have some goodies that we'll be giving out. And we will be sharing this with you, with you, some of you. Of, of you. We uh, sent out a questionnaire uh, our, last week. And this questionnaire was very interesting. We got really good feedback. We had around 54 of you who want to uh, participate in this challenge. Initially, we said we'll only start with 20, but now we've seen 54. So we'll see how best we can be able to distribute some of the seeds for you to be able to, uh, to plant. We share every week experience. We'll share a planting guide and see how, how can we be able to demystify some of these things. So the whole idea behind this challenge is uh, the whole idea behind this challenge is simply not to uh, not to say uh, basically like oh you know these seeds are not working and all that no 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 the whole idea is to ask ourselves with 200 seeds what can we get 
So again, as we wait for those who are joining us, uh, if you're joining us, uh, let us know where you're watching us from. We will not be here for, for a long time. Uh, Zach, Zach, Zach Olo, Mzewa Kazi, Zach Olo. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, very interesting. I was meant to come there. I'll be there tomorrow, so we'll be chatting a bit more. And I will be bringing for you your seeds, uh, Zach. And, and just to get to know. So what we want to do is just to demystify some of these things because for example in an acre i've met so many farmers i remember myself my own experience when i planted uh, watermelons i remember a while back i planted watermelons and these watermelons they did not do as i expected them to so there were so many things so many challenges that that i was facing that i said no this time i think what we'll do is we'll try and do it a bit differently i'm seeing some of you are calling me uh let's let's finish the live uh veronica lumbo all the way from zambia I'm seeing Zambia, farmers from Zambia are very active, are very, very active, uh, very interesting. We have uh, Betsy Ann, I think she'll be joining later. Betsy Ann, we will be sending the seeds today. We had a delay, so we will be sending some of the seeds out today. When you receive the seeds, please, please, please let us know when you receive the seeds so that we can be able to share, we can be able to start the experience. We are hoping to start by 5th, uh, though it, that will be proving to be a bit of a challenge. Uh, uh, so we will we will see how best and when we can be able to likely uh, jump and start immediately. So we are waiting for some of you to join in so that we can share some of the uh, things that I would like to share around with the, with all of you. Uh, and basically, as we do this, we just remember that the whole idea behind uh, A Farmers and, and and by extension Africa Farmers Club <clears throat> is basically to help us as farmers. To be able to make sure that we are making the right decisions you know the whole like the, the right decisions are good when when we are, uh, are connected emotionally but they're even better when we are seeing how best we can be able to do this economically so that is the whole idea that's what we want to do that's what we want to make sure that as we do this as we can communicate uh together we are able to know that oh um we are benefiting you know, I always say that uh, you don't have to be friends when you're coming together. But if you become friends by you coming together, it is fantastic. It is always fantastic. So that is <clears throat> that is the whole idea behind what we are doing. And uh, what we're trying to demystify, the things that we want to do, what, what we want to create at the end of this all is basically just how do we make sure that we are, uh, we, we are coming out of this uh, meats that we there, you know, we plant an acre of watermelon. We're told that it needs 500 grams of watermelon seeds, but you find that if each of them, uh, an average rate of uh, seven seeds per gram, that makes it 3,500 seeds. If each of them were to only give you five, five kilos, each plant gives you five kilos of fruit. Don't you think we'll be having a challenge? Today we want to do things, and we'll do them math mathematically. We have a calculator today, so we will do a few calculations here and there. But I'm seeing that we are here, so I think we can start off. Uh, Zakolo, all the way from uh, close to Namanga, uh, Ngata Taik, again, uh, thank you for joining. Kerubo Nyabuto, thank you for joining, and welcome to farming. This is fantastic. This is very interesting. Let us know why, why what, what interest you have in farming, so that we can be able to... To share that as well uh, in the discussion here. Wanjiku Nganga, Nganga uh, says would love to do watermelon farming. Yes, fantastic. What anyone be? Watermelon farming hit me down so bad. The first time I did, I planted and there was a very big challenge. I, In fact, what, what happened is that I was lured into watermelon. And I was told that if you grow watermelons, uh, in fact, somebody said, told me that uh, I'll guide you with 40,000 Kenya shillings, that's $400 for those uh, outside Kenya. With $400, you can get $4,000 in less than three months. And I was like, wow. I mean, raise your hand, raise your hand if that would not make you, uh, if that, that would interest you, definitely it would interest you, you know. So, and that's what I did. I said, for, for, I mean, in, 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 in three months, I can make that. That's fantastic. And I jumped in. You know, like the way you, you know, when people are swimming and then they jump into the deep end. I jumped inside the deep end. In fact, I did two acres. <laughs> Those are some of the experiences that made Africa Farmers Club and who we are and where we are and where we are going. We are going to make sure that we demystify some of these things. 
Yeah, and, and 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 so what we are doing today is that we want to get into now. I think we are we are we are we are, we are enough to be able to go and just start this discussion. It will not be long. Uh, will not take a very long time. We just want to get down into asking ourselves a few questions. Why grow watermelons? You know, why do you grow watermelons? You know, number one is for 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 the market, for you to be able to make money out of it. Uh, Somebody is asking me what is behind me. Behind me. Uh, are a few things. There's peppers, my favorite. Uh, there's, there's, there's peppers, there's garlic, there's garlic here, and then there's tomatoes. Uh, yes, I happen to get this somehow, somewhere. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so basically what we're trying to do is, we're, we're trying to say, what can you do? What can you get? What is the maximum yield? You know, and, and, and apart from um, watermelon, there are some companies that have also come out very strongly, very interestingly, and also given us some seeds, which we will be sharing. We have... Uh, uh, a vet and agronomy limited who have come in and, and and given us some extra seeds so we will also be sharing some of these goodies with you farmers as well so those who are joining us let us know where you're watching us from let us know what you how you're enjoying this you know so again let's see and, and go get down to business now watermelon how long does watermelon take watermelon takes between uh, 65 days to 90 days depending where you are what are the requirements for watermelon? Watermelon has 70% of it as a crop is water. So you will need water. So some of the things is make sure that you have good enough water to grow this. We are only going to take about 200 seeds. Let us work with 200 seeds because 200 seeds is manageable. 200 seeds you can actually even look for market for it, you know. So uh, uh, those who are watching us, let us know where you are watching us from as you join in. We will talk about a few things. I have uh, some things that I would like to share. Just experience the guide, but we will do this. For those who signed up and say that they would require some guidance, we will share some of these uh, things. I will share out again uh, the the manual, the planting guide that, that, that I created that has worked for me as well and see how best we can be able to use this stem. Okay, and uh, so what I will do is that I will go very quickly and, and just go through uh, a few things that you need to, to know. For example, land preparation, make sure you're planting at least, at least, this one is very going to be a bit controversial, but at least uh, make sure that you're planting spacing of one meter, plant to plant. Plant to plant, row to row, at least, you know, one meter. If you have, you've done it before, let us know how, what spacing worked for you. Mine has worked even 50. 50, uh, 50 centimeters plant to plant, but two meters row to row, okay? 200 seeds will require a very small area. 200 seeds will require less than, it's not even a quarter of an acre, I think it's like a sixteenth of an acre, you know, uh, considering you're only doing 200 meters squared, because it's basically more or less that, you know? So a very small area, some, some have some big backyards, you can be able to do that. If you feel like you just want to start and do something for your kitchen garden, and it's 50 seeds let us know also let us know everything will be the same uh, some, some people who joined us um leparmai silas all the way from marala fantastic thank you tell us no tell, let us know what, how your experience has been like you know uh so uh, watermelon is surfaced when you plant direct seed i know some people have asked me uh do can we do seedlings yes you can but for watermelon you have to be very sensitive when you're doing the seedlings because it has to be just before the two true leaves come out so the surface is do it in the nursery in the in the direct seeding so direct seeding means you have made sure that uh, you have enough farmyard manure i do like a cup a cup full a cup full uh, of manure some can do if you have more you can do and there's something else that is very important there's something that we use that I use especially in the farm is is is, is called a soil wetter. So soil wetter, what the soil wetter does, the soil wetter uh, helps the, cro the, the 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 plant regain retain the water, even as, as sometimes you might find that there's a challenge in the weather. Even if you're doing solar, if you do, there's a challenge with water for two three days. So the soil wetter, which I'll be sharing later on in the video in another video tomorrow, is basically how do you be able to retain water in the soil for the plant even when the challenges you know uh, we tried this uh, uh in 2019 i've tried that in some of the crops that we've been planting and it has worked really well for watermelon it will be fantastic 
You can do furrow irrigation where you're watering. You can also do something else that uh, the drip irrigation. All in all, make sure that you're getting enough water. You can actually do bottles, but the surface is to have at least running water that is constant. Uh, it takes between five to ten days, but it might take shorter for germination to occur. Again, I'll share, as I said, I'll share this 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 out this guide. I'll share it out and uh and send you over uh for those who joined will be able to send uh to, to your emails or to your whatsapp mess uh your whatsapp the number that you gave us as you signed up remember that you can also one of the best ways of being able to get all the information is to register as a member i'll be sharing in the comment section how to register as a member of africa farmers club it is free absolutely free and the benefits are enormous you can see some of the benefits that you're getting some seeds and i want to give a shout out to agronomist onesmas mongare he came through for us he came through for us and for some of you i think he has sent also some seeds to you guys the best thing we can be able to do is to talk about the experience we've had with the different seeds that we are receiving there's also a very good friend of mine is called evans evans was one of my one of the guys who guided me and gave me psych and told me no you can do this and he came, he also came through with some seeds apart from this he came through with some other seeds and said why don't you do this why don't you do this i also have some messages i'll be collecting some seeds from wells fargo so if you also are in a in the company and in in a company that has seeds watermelon seeds or any farm inputs that farmers can be able to use for this challenge please uh, reach out and then we can be able to see how best we can be able to support farmers during this 200 seed watermelon challenge okay so uh there are different companies that have different spray programs i i i, I do not say to use this specific one i rely and depend on the syngenta one and when i send this guide you will understand why you know and and uh, you will definitely understand why this is the best guide that i've used so week three we expect at least most of the seeds have germinated and uh, something else that is interesting that uh, i can see a good friend of mine who has just joined she has joined and interrupted the live it's called maggie atoli i'll be t telling you guys later on when it comes to the watering bit why this friend of mine will be taking care of you guys together with that this is the, the, another friend which actually i'll be sharing uh the, the guide actually maggie welcome as you join kindly share as well the the your profile in terms of the irrigation uh, as we discuss this so week three we expect most of the seeds have germinated definitely most of the seeds will have germinated and that's the point now we analyze and one of the things that is very important for you to do is to make sure you do scouting this is a very crucial step this is a very crucial step in whatever you are doing. Make sure that you have uh, uh, scouted and we will be sharing a friend of mine who is in this group. I don't know if they're watching. We'll be sharing a farm management software for you. A farm management software free of charge for you as a farmer to be able to use and be able to manage your farm. Just start with the 200 seed watermelon challenge. Put it there and let us know the experience. So again, there are some tips that we'll be sharing in the, in, in, in the so drop a, drop, 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 drop. And uh, remember that if you signed up, if you've not signed up, let us know so that you can be able to have that uh, form sent over again. I will try and send it during this live as well or immediately after we'll be in this comment section how you can be able to get some of these tips how you can be able to get this guide we will hope we'll try and see if you can be able to add it in the documents in africa farmers club remember to like our page our page our a farmers which has constant updates and also uh, our youtube channel which has so many videos that you can be able to benefit from let's go to week four let's go to week four but but i do not want to confuse you so we will only uh, touch up to week six and then to and then next week We'll start again and, and focus on week one, whatever is required, so that as you start, let us we plan some of some of you have said that we, we give them we give you some time so that we can start next week on Monday. We oblige. We oblige and we will make sure that everything is set. We will we will not be able to send all the seeds to all of you. If you can be able to get the seeds, if you have a friend with the seed company, let them know that we are requesting if they can just share. 200 seeds of the watermelon variety. Some have different varieties. Some have asked which is the best variety. I will not mention which is the best, but I will make sure that I will, what we will be able to do is to guide you in terms of which one can you, what can you do? You know, there's something that I was told um, 
when I was growing up, you know, uh, that it is not the environment or the circumstances around you that makes you successful. It is you yourself. You can only succeed depending on the energy that you put in, the effort that you put in, the willingness that you put in, because you're already, uh, champions are not made in the ring. Champions are never made in the ring. No. Champions are just confirmed in the ring. So make sure and ask yourself, am I a champion? Am I going to get this done? Am I going to, to make sure this is done? So week four is a very interesting uh, uh, day. That's the time that now probably the first weeding has been done. Uh, if you've done the fertilizer, you've done the first phosphorus-based fertilizer. And let me know for the from in the comment section why phosphorus is important, uh, uh, especially at this stage, the early stages when the when the when the root formation is being done. Week six, week five, again, insect traps. Very important to make sure that you start investing in insect traps. It's basically the integrated pest management where it helps you get an indication of the infestation of the seed of the of the of the pests that are around you. You know, it gives you tells you how many white flies do you have, how many thrips do you have, how many. Do, one very, very important thing is to get a bacterial trap, which is basically to know how many. Uh, what is the infestation rate of melon flies on your farm? And you see, this helps you avoid the, the watermelons that are, you know, disfigured and things like that, you know. So let us know again. Uh, again, I, I had promised to mention uh, Maggie Margiatoli. Hey, Maggie, you have a very hard, hard name. So Maggie Margiatoli, uh, they are experts in irrigation. And they have done, uh, if you visit, if you happen to visit my farm, you'll find that most of the things in terms of irrigation equipment, I have actually gotten from them expert they will guide you i'll be sharing later on uh, in the day where you can find them and i know maggie can be able to share this lucky low bernard very thank you thank you thank you very much we want you to succeed that has always been our wish from my farmers myself as noah i always wanted you to succeed and that's why i dedicate my time and resources to visit you farmers you know that is what we want to do to make sure that you are successful the more we are successful the stronger we are the bigger the voice that we have you know so that's why we are, we are talking about making sure that we start from the basics let us start and see how many seeds i have five 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 thousand seeds how many will germinate so instead of going five thousand let's start with 200 seeds we document how many germinated how many what did you have what, what happened you know so again we're going back to week five week five is a very crucial week because that's when now uh, you get some false flowers, you get some things done, and <clears throat> sorry, uh, sorry, let me let me clear my thought a bit. Mm -hmm. So week five is very interesting. Make sure that you are uh, you you have the traps. So as you start, make sure that you start by thinking about those traps. We will also share some of the information about the aggravates. Uh, so if you tell us where you're watching us from, we'll try and see if you can get the aggravates or the people who are dealing with these traps to uh to be part of this as well now we are in week six we said we only reach week six week six is top dressing top dressing top dressing top dressing what do we mean by top dressing we are actually putting now the vegetative uh, fertilizer in the soil and this is a very crucial stage at this stage you'll find that probably uh the watermelon uh in 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 in, in kiswahili say in metupam corner the watermelon has started, started creeping you know uh it has come out from the four true leaves now it started creeping it needs more food the, the we we started off third, uh, on the third week we started by feeding the crop with phosphorus which helps the crop to be able to uh to get enough food for root formation remember f most of these uh, crops actually all they feed through the roots you know so make sure that even when you're preparing the watermelon the hole for preparing watermelon i remember i say use a cup full don't don't not not this big but if you can be able to get enough Farmyard manure, uh, cow or goat. Uh, I, I prefer cow or goat, but there's also one that you can be able to use very nice, uh, which we'll be sharing later on as well. Is make sure that you have uh, the the seeds. The, 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 where the seed will be able to land is already healthy, because it starts there. Where it starts there. So again, that was phosphorus. Root formation helps the, the the plant develop strong roots so that they can be able to take in any other nutrients. Remember, there's some other nutrients that are, the, the the crop will will be able to benefit. So when you're doing top dressing, which fertilizer do you use? How much do you apply? Is very critical. We know that doing 200 seeds 
might not uh, be profitable for you to do a soil test. But again, we have some good news from crop nutrition and laboratory services, crop nuts, where I sit as a Dr. Udongo, they have reduced the soil testing to a minimum of less than 2,000 shillings. Imagine that. Imagine that. I told you there's some people who care about farmers. And we are seeing that now. Okay, so top dressing. What most of the time is it, it, at this at this stage the crop wants uh, the crop wants uh, something very critical, the vegetative stage to help it now develop. Remember, watermelon is 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 uh, it's 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 leafy, so it requires some leaf 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 uh, something to help it produce more leaves because the more leaves it has. They, it provides covering for the fruits. It makes sure that the, the fruit is also the, the plant is is healthy. Uh, the, the seeds, watermelon, uh, uh, what is it called? The the leaves will give you a clear indication. It will give you a clear indication of how healthy that crop is and how it has been taken care of. So make sure that this is a crucial stage that you are actually uh, following. And so that's 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 number one. So what we we had said that we will reach. Uh, uh, week six and that is the vegetative stage from next week we'll be able to share once we start planting i do not want to confuse you so i'll just uh, i'll just summarize some of the things that we have done uh that that we've discussed here and one of the things that we've discussed that is crucial is make sure that the land preparation is ideal plant to plant one meter if you can do 50 and then two meters 50 uh, 50 centimeters plant to plant and then row to row two meters fantastic if not, work with one meter, uh, one meter plant to plant. That would be fantastic. That would be great. Uh, the other thing that we've said is make sure that the land is prepared well. When you plant today, don't expect the seed to germinate tomorrow. No, it won't. It will take between five to ten days for germination to occur. And when, when it occurs, that's when now you can be able to now start feeding. But before that, make sure you scout your farm. Again, we'll be sharing some details about the software that we'll be using. To be able to manage this we will share that with you we will make guide you we'll guide you in terms of the what you need to do which um, pesticide and how safe you need to use the same and uh, what to what to take care of when germination occurs you remember you've brought in something new in your soil in your area there are some things that love those new germinated plants called cutworms they eat and cut so make sure you take care of that as well. We'll guide you on what to, you need to spray. Remember, when you're before planting, there's something very critical that you need to do. Soak your seeds, treat your seeds with Apron Star from Syngenta. We will be sharing this guide. It will be the guide for the whole, uh, the whole 12 weeks. But we'll discuss this every week, every week as we look at this experience that we're sharing. Make sure that uh, you have a basal fertilizer. Crops feed well on basal fertilizer. If you have in drip, you can do a... Uh, uh, it's called a venturi you can be able to do a fatigation if not you just use the fertilizer make sure you water the crop really well the insect traps is a must it's a go you have to make sure that you have the insect traps because it's integrated pest management works very well for fruits fruit crops and especially because that they're giving you an indication of the infestation rate you know it helps you like manual scout but now uh, again we will share again that for any pest and pests and diseases that, that that affect your crop remember to uh to use um a very interesting app that is there it's called plantix our partners called plantix have uh will be sharing um the whatsapp if you're using if you're not using an android you can use it if you're using an iphone you can actually message directly take a photo of the crop send it to them and it gives you a diagnosis so i'll talk about that tomorrow in diagnostics tuesday and then uh that is one the other app that we'll be sharing will be very interesting good so yes so maggie has shared some information there in the comment section about uh, the irrigation services they are called empire irrigation kenya uh, but because they have grown they'll be changing the name soon and uh, they are in kitengela next to chuna estate uh, and their telephone number i don't know if maggie has shared the telephone number it is there so you can call them on 0714-500-323 or 0700-788-033. You'll get Judy or Maggie on those telephone lines and they will be pleasing. They'll help you. You know, 
when your sisters are, are doing something and they're doing something well, you talk about it and you talk about it fully. Okay, so that's what we're saying. So make sure that you are uh, signing up for being a member. It is absolutely free to be a member of Africa Farmers Club. Uh, I'll share that in the comment section. Spread the word. Uh, go to our Facebook page called A Farmers and like and follow so that you can get updates. Uh, we have a brilliant person, one of our team who writes brilliant blogs. Make sure you go to A Farmers with the Z dot com and read some of the blogs there fantastically done right just done right just for you as a farmer so good so i had promised not to take a lot of your time we have a, a very good uh, friend who has joined us at the farmers called simon wagura we go a long way i can say i saw him when he was still as a young boy <laughs> yes and he has the energy we will be sharing a lot of information with you as we continue to build you as farmers again i rem i will be sharing this guide with all of you so so make sure that you have given us uh all your details thank you for having joined and shared uh, with us this morning i know uh, and we'll be doing this often and we'll be doing this as frequent as possible you know um and and let us know let us know give us your experience let us know what you're thinking what you're doing and 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 uh, and as i i promise i promise that i will share um a poll that that i shared earlier so uh again we'll also st restart be restarting our farm farm um, our farm visits uh we had some a few challenges uh last year covid hit us and it was terrible we did a lot of work for our studio it has also proved to be a challenge a learning experience but now we want to to make sure that we are doing some things that are good for you okay so again uh, i want to give 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 a shout out to uh, onesmas um Agron he's called he calls himself agronomist Onesmas Mongare. Thank you very much for 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 you give for for you giving us this. I think uh, it's called a jab with one. I would really I, I really want to try this out. I really want to try this out. It psyched me up a lot. So we'll be able to do this. Uh, Onesmas, thank you very much for coming through. Uh, Evans, Evans, Evans again. Thank you for coming through. We have uh, watermelon seed called Bulldozer F1. A very interesting uh, variety. We have Asali. I I happen to leave them in the in the in the office in the, in the office the other day. We'll be getting others. Uh, let me just check them out here. I want to give a shout out to all of you who have uh, made this a success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having made this a success. Uh, so th we have also seeds by a guy called George. George from uh, Africacia Seed has also given us some seeds. It's called Sugar King. Uh, actually, two varieties. I, I don't know if you can see them on my phone right here. Uh, yes, Sugar Queen F1 and Sugar King F1. Hey, interesting. So we'll be sharing these seeds with you. Betsy Ann, I know you are waiting for your seeds. Betsy is all the way in Kisi. We uh, we will be sharing this with, um, with, with her. She has really tried as much as possible to make sure that she is getting... The right cups come, they fail her. Ukijua mtu ambaye amejaribu kulima. Mtu amejaribu kulima, it's Betsy Ann. Betsy Ann. Betsy Ann will be sending out uh, for you all uh, all the inputs for this challenge specifically. So, again, to remind ourselves, what is this challenge all about? The challenge is simply, we want to see 200 seeds watermelon challenge. Can we get two fruits of each? Each and get, those are 400 fruits times 5 kilos each. Uh, and Onesmas uh, confirmed that you can get up to 10, 10 kilos of, from their seed. From UFAM, thank you UFAM for coming through with this. I think some of you have also received the, the seeds directly. So share with us. So we want to see, can we get two tons from 200 seeds? If not, how much can we get? Can we get? So at the end of it all, we want to make sure that you are successful. That we are riding this, uh, we are on this journey together. We will get there. I am sure we will get there. It's taken long, but we will sure we'll get organizations, we'll get companies that are willing to work with us, organizations, companies that are willing to support us fully to make sure even the cost of the inputs are reduced. So what, what are we expecting tomorrow? Tomorrow I'll, I'll, I'll be live again in, on Diagnostics Tuesday to talk about what are the pests and diseases you should expect from your farm from this watermelon challenge. Let me tell you, there's something called melon fly that doesn't care whether you're planting 10,000 10, 10, 10, seeds of watermelon or one seed. 
it will still come. It finds its way somehow. I don't know why. So we'll know how to detect that. And then, uh, so that is tomorrow we'll, on Diagnostics Tuesday, we'll be able to talk about this. Again, you, we, will, we are starting our planting a bit earlier so that we can also guide you so that what, what, what we will be a week ahead so that you can know what to expect from your farm as well. We have Simon Wagura who will be uh, guiding us in that as well. So next, so tomorrow is Diagnostics Tuesday. On Wednesday, we will not talk about market watch in terms of uh, watermelon because it's still early stages. We will talk about the timing, what to expect and all that. Then on Friday, we'll talk to an expert, an expert. And this expert, I am nominating him here. I don't think he's here. He's our agronomist Onesmas Mongare. We will talk to him about the experience on, of growing a Jabu F1 and also either watermelon. He's a young guy, very active. I, I like his energy, very active. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a brilliant day. And as, as you start your week, more blessings to you. Thank you, thank you.